and we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be doing the level 86 physical range roll quest in Final Fantasy XIV. And as always, hello from Mifri. So we are here in the Doman Enclave at 6-6, and we need to talk to Yugiri. The quest is called When the Kami Answer. Lord Hian's extended absence from the Enclave does not sit well with Yugiri. Ah, Mifri, we have yet to ascertain the whereabouts of the blasphemy from Izari. But for a blessing, we have received no reports of others that have turned. Lord Hian, for his part, has made a concerted effort to go about the villages and converse with his subjects directly. I suspect that his constant presence has served to allay the people's fears. As one might expect, he has ever been dedicated and diligent, but I fear he has been away over long. I thought to go and visit what should have been his last destination, Isari. Might I ask you to accompany me? Uh, thank you. I am sure there is no cause for concern, but nevertheless, I should be glad to find him quickly. Okay. So, let's go to Isari and see if we can find Lord here. Okay, so we caught up with Lord Hian. Let's talk to him. So, Mifri, Yugiri, my apologies if I gave you cause for concern. Assessing the state of affairs here in Asari has proven difficult. To put it simply, the people, one and all, refuse to speak with me. They simply bow their heads and turn away at my approach. Knowing the blasphemy originated here, I cannot help but wonder if it has aught to do with their silence. Perhaps you could attempt to engage with the people in my stead surely they have no cause to deny the two of you should have not nevertheless i will don a disguise uh, lest i draw undue attention come be free let us see what we can discover thank you both of you okay so we need to talk to the uh, villagers who are close by so let's see where they are Okay, here's a burly villager. So, I owe a great debt to Lord Hian. If not for him, I would have, I would still be fighting under the Imperial Standard. But the village suffered dearly under the occupation. What's more, our Lord failed to punish the Viceroy for her crimes and failed to reunite many with their loved ones. I understand why uh, some would think poorly of him, even if I do not. Interesting. Okay, so Kami fearing villager. So a blasphemy. You are mistaken, my friend. Our village was visited not by a monster, but a Kami. Uh is Zanami. Uh where Lord Hian is cold and callous, she offers us boundless compassion and love. Interesting, interesting. Where the last one is. See if we can find it's up here. Yep. Concerned villager. So, aye, that's right. The blasphemy was born <coughs> of a young woman here in Isari. Tragic, really. Every day she prayed for the safe return of her husband, but it was not to be. If I am to be honest, I fear the loss drove her poor old stepmother mad. Uh, Kisei has ever been a devout believer in the kami and their blessings, but she's somehow convinced herself that uh, Minato has become one. The delusions of a grieving parent, obviously, but an alarming number of people have come to share in her belief. Um, heresy is what it is. Interesting. Okay, let's go back to Lord Hian. It's just over there. Stuff, etc. and blah. I see. Little wonder that they would refuse to fight in me. I believe, sorry, the belief held by some that this blasphemy is a kami, however, is quite concerning. Um, Izanami presides over life and death. She gave birth to the nation of Doma and ushers souls of the departed onto the land of the dead. I trust you understand what it would mean to deny them a source of hope in such dark times, even one such as this. The villagers also claim that this uh, Kisei 
can speak with the dead. In fact, she will be holding a gathering to demonstrate her powers ere long. Perfect opportunity to gauge the extent of their fa uh, fanaticism. Uh, not for me, of course. My presence would draw undue attention. I ask you both to attend in my stead. Um, her followers will be gathering in the tavern. Come. So, O oh Spirits of Isari, I beseech you, lend me your voice and let your presence be known. Cross the veil and be among us once more. Um, Ikitsu. Bava? Uh, still tending the nets, like I taught you. Yes, Father, every day. Thanks to you, we never want for fish. Our bellies are never empty. Um, I was, I am proud to be your son. I was always too embarrassed to tell you before, but... And I am proud to have been your father. May you be ever blessed by the sea's bounty. Ugh, it hurts. Father, what's wrong? Um, he is in terrible pain, my child. Uh, those who have cheated death's design yet live. It has disrupted the natural order and the spirits suffer for it. What must we do to ease their pain? Be not, uh, Izanami shall put all to rights. She will claim the souls not long for this world and deliver them onto the hereafter. When her work is finished, your father's spirit and all the others will find peace. Uh, can you find my father? Can you help me speak with him? Uh, Kise, can you commune with my husband? What about my family? Help me, Kise, please. Right, let's talk to Ian. So this Kisei's ability is all she claims. A young man spoke with his dearly departed father through her. I find that rather hard to believe. Even so, those in attendance appeared quite convinced, my lord. And I suspect a great many of the villagers I've spoken with recently are as well. Everywhere I went, the people were in so much pain, and there was nothing I could do or say to give them solace. But yet, for all their anguish, there has not been a single report of villagers turning since the incident with Tombo's brother. Which can only mean word of Kisei and her ability to speak with the deceased has spread. The belief we can commune with our loved ones in death is a comfort far beyond my power to provide. Though I fail to see how the people would abide the kami claiming innocent lives to restore order. Uh, she comes. Is an army. A blasphemy here.
Wow. So, Lord Hian, the Kami, she appeared as if from nowhere, and in the next instant, this poor man was. So we were too late. I spoke with him before in Asari. You recognize him then? So curious that he and the Blasphemy's first victim were former conscripts. What could the fiend be after, I wonder? Um, it does not become my lord to speak ill of the kami. So I understand that you are come to investigate the rumors of a born monster born in our village. A blasphemy, you called it. But you are sorely mistaken. My stepdaughter, Minato, was chosen to serve as a vessel for as an army. I witnessed her ascension with my own eyes. <laughs> be, up, be right back. <laughs> Minato, please. I can't, I won't. There's no logic in it, no justice. So, the Witch of Dome uh, spared, given a second chance, and my husband condemned to die as a conscript. Um, I'll never know what became of him. Lord Hian can't give me even that. And when I look at the families he made whole, at, the, at their happiness, I feel the hole in my heart, the gaping wound that will never heal. Uh, begin to bleed. Only at my beloved side will I find peace. Uh, you mustn't lose faith, Minato. Um, all will be well. Trust in the Kami in as an army. Um, I want to believe, but... So, um, it's an army has come to bring peace to the souls of the departed, to restore balance between their world and ours. Surely you will not dare defy the will of the Kami. Uh, this balance you speak of has claimed the lives of two innocents, but recently returned to us. I cannot, I will not accept the Kami would condone such cruelty. No crueler than the sight of Yutsuo's free and forgiven, while my husband and son fought Garlemald's wars, now dead and forgotten in a foreign land. Uh, with all due respect, Lord Ian, it is not your duty to protect Doma and her people. Um, how are we to place our faith in the man who places the enemy's safety and well-being above that of his own su subjects? Only the Kami are deserving of our adoration, as they have always been. You. Okay, let's talk to him. So, the villagers are no doubt loath to ask it of me, but preparations must be made for burials and funeral rites. I can offer that much, at least. 
You seemed distracted during our conversation with Kasei. Is something the matter? So, the echo, and the blasphemy was indeed born of her Sator? To bear witness to such horror, how her mind must have struggled to comprehend what she saw. And as a woman of faith, perhaps her only surviving family became uh, one with the divine was the only reality with which she could come to terms. I believe I know now what must be done, but uh, pray her fervor does not drive her to oppose us. Come, let us return to the Enclave. Okay, let's return to the Dominant Enclave. Okay, we made it back to the Enclave. Talk to Ian. So, from what you told me of your vision, the nature of Minato's despair, as well as the focus of her ire, is clear. Uh, Tis plain that she was good-natured, a kind-hearted woman, grieving for the loss of her husband. This loss alone may not have been enough to turn her, but my failure to hold Yutsuyu to account, together with the sight of other families reunited, compounded the turmoil in her broken heart. A path to despair paved by my good intentions, a truth that will weigh heavy on my conscience unto my dying day. Manata was prepared to die in sadness rather than live in hatred. Um, if she could see the beast she has become, she would implore us to stop her, uh, which is why we must find the others who were returned to us in the prisoner exchange before they come to harm. Uh, once her safety is assured, we may hunt down the blasphemy and bring uh, a close to this tragedy. Cool. Alright, so that's the that's done. So anyway guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and as always, goodbye from me and goodbye from Mifri. Bye guys.